what's up everyone? I'm Nick Butler and I'm here with Sadie and the ladies. How you guys doing tonight? Doing good, yeah. yeah. Um, just a little tired. Yeah, that's a mood right now. It's okay. Uh, so I got a few questions for you guys tonight. Uh, my first question is, how'd you guys meet? Like, how'd your band start? Oh, man. Um, well, I met this guy, like, freshman year of high school here in Austin at, like, a camp. And uh, he had green hair. And, you know, flash forward however many years now like I just asked him to, if he wanted to be in a band and yeah that's how that started and then uh, Ivan <coughs> I knew through mutual friends and uh, tell him how you, how you got in <laughs> tell your story <coughs> my story uh, we're in a film group on campus and we like to make movies together so uh, so yeah that's how we met because we both like making films together and then uh, yeah over to Wilson after that. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I was in a I was in a film class with Jaden, and Jaden knows Austin, <laughs> and Austin, and Jaden like reached out to me, and then I, uh, yeah, then I joined the band. So he told me that he that he uh, played drums in a movie, but there was a guitar off screen, so he had to play guitar. Uh, that uh, inevitably he was a guitarist, so. Uh, took her word for it <laughs> and uh, kind of auditioned him and then uh, you know Cameron here yeah, uh, I joined the band two days ago <laughs> <laughs> but me and Wilson me and Wilson go way back second grade we used to run around in the woods um, got lost a few times and uh, we're still alive though we're still here <coughs> absolutely my next question for you guys is uh, I know there's definitely a story behind your name. What is it? What's the story? Anyone want to tell it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I have a dog named Katie. Originally the name of the band was supposed to be uh, Katie and the Lady. Well, well, before that we had, another, we had a couple other names we were thinking. You know, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so originally we were going to be Katie and the Ladies because I have a dog named Katie. And then I told to Austin, and he liked it a lot. And I was like, all right, Katie and the ladies, heck yeah. We're gonna, my, my dog is going to be the name of the band. Um, and then he told his girlfriend, Jaden, and she was like, no, nah, I don't like it. It reminds me of the – because my dog's name is Katie. It's like Katie for me, Mean Girls. That's how it's spelled. So she's like, it should be Sadie and the ladies. It took me a little while, while but, yeah, it rolls off the tongue better. So That's great. Awesome. I like that story. Uh, my next question for you guys, uh, you just came out with uh, your EP, Let Us Make You Money. Uh, can one of you or all of you sort of work me through the creative process of how it came to be? Can you repeat that? Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I kind of just, like, had some riffs, and then uh, we – Blake's been in the band for a long time. We've had, like, a lot of uh, – people switch in and out and we kind of just workshopped uh, a couple of them like post-war affair has been around for a long time and then uh, I kind of just wanted to press it out to be able to make soft by deadlines so uh, <laughs> just kind of threw some together and then we just kept on playing and uh, went to the studio and recorded them yeah Where did we go? Uh, 12th Street 12th Street sound Charlie um, yeah so it's not very glamorous, but we're working on some stuff right now that we're going to all kind of come together with. This was kind of just me, like, in my underwear. You guys have a release date for that? Is that an LP? Oh, not yet, no. <laughs> so we're going to ride this one out first, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Uh, my next question, uh, do you have, uh, you can answer together or individually, uh, a personal favorite that you guys like to perform and uh, why? Uh, Dizzy Spells has to be all of our favorites. It's high energy, you know. Um, it, it, it just, it gets it gets the job done, you know. It gets everyone hyped up and, uh, you know, it really gets the blood flowing. It gets the heart pumping. And that's really all you can ask for in life. Yep. <laughs> that's it? Do, well, so <laughs> what, do, do I, I, I yeah, thought, we'll I mean, okay. Uh, yeah, no, uh, also Dizzy Spells. It's uh it's a crazy fast song that we 
or well, it's it's a, it's not a fast song. It's it's a song. It's just like plays at regular tempo, but we always play it really fast because it's really <laughs> exciting. It just kind of takes you over. Um, at least for me and the drums, it's just like really gets me going. So oh, let's play it too fast. Um, I feel compelled to say dizzy spells as well, <laughs> so I'm just gonna say um, dizzy spells. Yeah, I think I like dizzy spells the most too. <laughs> I like sunshine though a lot too because I get to. Hmm. Uh, well, yeah, I don't play Mr. Please, but that's also one of my favorites. I like Let Us Make Your Money, the title track, because it's, uh, I don't know, that guitar lick, man. And it's uh, overly sarcastic, which is really fun. Um, yeah. I got a couple more questions for you guys. Uh, my next one, if you, could ha if you could collaborate with one artist or one band of any generation of any time who would it be and why uh one of my favorite artists through life and that really has inspired me and taken me where i am as a musician uh, as an artist known by the name of frank stallone um uh, he, he's known as <laughs> sylvester stallone's brother um you guys got that it, Really, no. Um, I mean, I play guitar pretty much because of uh, Frank Stallone and his whole musical career. Um, we've actually talked a few times. He's a great guy. Uh, we got along real well, and you know, he just really inspires me to wake up every morning and pick up my guitar. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. Shoot. Uh, I guess like Jim Morrison. I like her sound. It's it's very yeah. He's. He's a very good lyricist, or was a good lyricist. God, God rest his soul. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. No, that would have been really fun to have that energy. I don't know. You would have had fun with them on stage. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention. I knew it was gonna be yours. Yeah. Well, you should have gone first. You had the chance. You had the off because Frank Zappa is a musical genius, and uh, he's awesome, and he's you know also. <laughs> it, uh, that or the Beastie Boys. Mine was going to be Frank Zappa, but uh, if not Frank Zappa, then maybe, I don't know. I feel like my first answer would be the Velvet Underground. Speci I, guess. I mean, uh, yeah, no, all of them actually. The whole Velvet Underground, not just Lou Reed. Uh, I probably would have said that too. But uh, I'm going to go with uh, Phil Spector pre-murder uh, and indictment because um, <coughs> you know he's got that sound man that's great those are all great choices uh, my final question for you guys uh, where do you guys see yourselves in five years what's the plan what's the future look like extorting myself entirely uh, <laughs> to make money that's all we're here for here to we're here to monetize this years uh hopefully hopefully playing music that's i mean yeah same music new music writing music and uh making a living doing that uh probably working nine to five <laughs> <laughs> oh man you can say it too i think a lot of people work nine to five uh, <laughs> but uh yeah or living in a house all my boys making tunes making films or working nine to five at a bank that's uh, sort of like one or the other yeah, I'd probably have a desk job, honestly. That's me. I, just, I don't really have a personality. Five years is a very small window on my plan, so it really only allocates for one thing on my list, but that's somewhere without mosquitoes. Uh, thank you. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. It was a great interview. Uh, I know you guys will be back for one more song, and definitely we'll be back for another game later uh, Sadie, can you guess these ladies? So, we'll look forward to that. And